Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to The Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over. On this podcast, we talk about everything from dating and relationships to personal development. We also speak very candidly about the F word, and by that, I mean failure. So grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. All of it. Undergoing, overcoming, and simply trying to make it through. Hello, gorgeous, and welcome back to the Girlfriend's Guide. I am so excited that you are here. It's Monday, so we're gearing up for another episode of Riddle Me This. And in today's segment, I want to know, when is the last time that you lost connection? When is the last time that your call failed? And you may be like, Kayla, what are you talking about? So for those of you who've been rocking with me, you know that this month we are talking all about overcoming people pleasing. So we're talking about what is people pleasing, signs, symptoms, ways to get over it, why it happens, like literally all the things. And every single time that you engage in one of these behaviors, I'm going to give you a list, you lose connection with yourself and your main character energy, okay? And so I don't know about you, but back in the day when I was growing up, I am a 90s kid. All the 90s kids say, ooh, ooh. So I'm a 90s kid. Sometimes you would call a number, and instead of the person saying hello, you would get the operator, and she would say, boom, 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 we're sorry. The number you're trying to reach has been temporarily disconnected. And then it would just hang up like no goodbye, like no, like all of that new stuff where she's like, goodbye, that's new. It would just hang up. It would let you know that you could not reach the person you were trying to contact. And then it would drop the call. So every time you engage in one of these behaviors, you are dropping the call. You are losing the connection with you and who you are and your ability to control or to influence your narrative. Every time you allow yourself or someone else to violate your boundaries. Every time you say yes, when deep in your heart, you know you want to say no. Every time that you pretend like you're going to agree with something or you're going along with what someone is thinking, but you actually don't agree with them or don't believe what they're saying, but you're saying yes out of fear of rejection or loss of support, you lose connection. Every single time you ignore your own needs in order to provide or prepare for somebody else or what they want or what they like or what they might need, you are losing connection. Every time you take on an extra shift or skip a personal or family plan because you don't want to let somebody else down, you're losing connection. Every time that you skip out on something you really want to do in order to make sure that someone else doesn't become upset or angry, you lose connection. Every single time you hold back or you lie about your emotions and you just don't want to say what really needs to be said because you are so afraid of conflict or discomfort or rocking the boat, you lose connection. Anytime you are choosing to operate in a way that is not genuine to who you are, how you're actually feeling in the moment, because you want to gain favor or you want to keep approval, you temporarily lose connection to your main character energy. You lose connection to you. You lose connection to your authenticity. You lose connection to your truest self. So when is the last time that you lost connection? When's the last time your call fell? When's the last time your call dropped? When's the last time you could not get through to you? And do you need help with or support with getting plugged back in to yourself? I love you and I want the best for you. And I want you to know that there is hope for you. I was the world's best. I guess I shouldn't say world's worst. I was the world's best people pleaser. And I recovered. And I can't promise you that it's easy, but I can promise you that it's worth it. And having that connection to who I am, what I truly desire, what I truly stand for, and being able to walk in authenticity is so worth it. I love you and I want the best for you. Keep tuning in. Come hang out with me on socials. I've got an amazing program coming up. It's a mini mine. I'm only taking 10 people, but I'm going to spend three days pouring everything into you, teaching you how to overcome people pleasing. Do not miss the link. It'll be down in the show notes. I love you and I want the best for you. And we will talk in the next one.